The phenomenal growth of e-book sales in the past several years led many to believe the days of printed books were over. But now physical books are making a comeback, and there's a healthy demand for both types of reader experience. Our Washington correspondent Daniel Renches has this report. The appeal was clear with the purchase of an e-book reader. All the world's accumulated knowledge was there, ready at your fingertips. Here's Kindle Touch. From 2010 to 2014, the U.S. witnessed a surge in sales of the high-tech readers. It was a dark and stormy night. The closure of bookstore giant Borders in 2011, which had hundreds of stores across the U.S., also appeared to sound the death knell for real books and physical stores. But there's a new plot twist. It seems consumers crave the old-fashioned book-buying experience. Although I'm an IT techie, I still grew up with the love and feel of actually holding a book. You know, highlighting it when you see those parts that make you think, wow, this touched me. Bookmarking those pages where you're like, I'm going to go back and not forget where I left that mark at. With the electronic thing, because of the electronic being online, there's just so many things that you can see that you'll tend to forget them. But when you make that hardcover book purchase and you see it on your library, every time you see it, you'll see memories, you'll see thoughts, you'll see ideas. It turns out that U.S. retailers are now turning the page on real book sales. Since 2013, figures from the data firm Nielsen show a steady rise in the number of real books sold each year from 501 million to 571 million in 2015. In that same time period, sales of e-book readers in the United States fell by about a third. Pablo Sierra senses this is the right time for him to take a risk, opening up his own used bookstore in Washington, D.C. So I think over time people are starting to realize you know, that we are missing something. And maybe we can't put our finger on it, but something is just not there anymore. Uh, though I do think that um, Amazon and Kindle now have, have definitely changed the game. They've changed the game, especially in economics, where now people do expect uh, their pricing for books to be a little bit more affordable. Experienced booksellers such as John Purvis at Politics and Prose say the decline and fall of real books has always been a tall tale peddled by the media. The commentators were saying, well, one might have to win out over the other. And that commentary has sort of faded away now because what's happened is people have bought ebook readers and they found that maybe for them ebook readers are great for some type of books or some type of experiences but other times they want physical books what we're now seeing in terms of sales I think across the industry is that leveling off so you have an established ebook market and you have a physical book market and they they're existing side by side Politics and prose is content to sell digital readers and books together and will even merge the two establishing a modern version of the printing press right in the middle of the store, which turns a digital copy into a real book at the touch of a button. Daniel Wrenches, CCTV, Washington.